The serial production of the Akotnik Heavy Strike Drone will begin in 2023. Head of the State Tech Corporation, Rostak Sergei Kemizov, said at a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The first flying prototype was rolled out in 2021, and we will begin serial producing and delivering it to the Defense Ministry in 2023, Kemizov said. As its specific feature, the Akotnik features a flat nozzle thruster that makes it less visible for radars, the Rostak chief stressed. Also, a new ground control post is being created for the drone, the S-70 Akotnik drone developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau, features stealth technology and the flying wing design. It lacks a tail, which diminishes its radar signature. According to the data of open sources, the drone has a takeoff weight of 20 tons and can accelerate to roughly 1,000 km per hour. The Akotnik Heavy Attack drone performed its debut flight on August 3, 2019. The flight lasted over 20 minutes under an operator's control. On September 27, 2019, the Akotnik performed a flight together with a Su-57 fifth generation fighter jet. The drone maneuvered in the air in automated mode at an altitude of around 1,600 meters, and its flight lasted over 30 minutes. Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, Yukov, has made significant progress, with the Russian military conducting a series of flight tests of the Akotnik heavy attack drone. While the exact details of the tests are not yet known, it's considered to be a major step for the Akotnik project before its formal induction in 2024. According to the Russian media outlet RIA Novosti, the tests took place at the Ashalik training ground, in the form of a fighter interceptor with simulated air-to-air -air missiles. The dummy missiles carried real infrared and radar homing seeker heads and associated electronics, having all characteristics of a missile, except for an engine and a warhead. The Akotnik performed several flights with functional simulators of guided air-to-air -air missiles. In the combat version, such missiles are designed to destroy other aircraft, Ria Novosti said, quoting military sources.